hello guys in this video i am gonna show you how you can solve and submit code save problem so basically this one is called maximum weight difference uh, this problem belongs to easy category here so let's read the question jeff has gone shopping with his five year old son they have bought an item so far the items are numbered from 1 to n okay and the item i weights wi grams jefferson inside insist on helping his father in carrying the items in one way and few items okay however his son is smart word being split into two groups okay and one group contain exactly k items then chef will carry the heavier group and his son will carry the other group help the chef in deciding which item should the son take your task will be simple to tell chef the maximum possible difference between the weight carried by himself and weight carried by the kid okay so what can be the most basic approach or what will be the first approach when co which comes in our mind so what i am thinking of is let's sort the items in increasing way so basically after sorting i will pick first k elements from here it was said here and one group contains exactly k items then chef will carry the heavier group and son will carry the other group okay so so let's say for k equal to 2 i sort this array so what i will get 2 4 then 5 8 and then 10 so 2 will be this two elements will be 4 plus 2 which is 6 and the other elements will be 5 8 and 10 so this one works pretty well for this case test case so 8 plus 10 plus 5 is 23 and you subtract 6 from it you get 7 as your answer so it will work for the second one also so basically in this type of question or in this particular website you will be given some test cases on and, and for each test case you will be given some inputs like here and and k are given then we have to read and separate space separated integers so let's directly jump into the coding part so here i have saved some template let's clear it what i basically need is this header file and using name space std and these are more uh, more advanced stuff that we can discuss later so basically what we are having number of test cases number of elements and integer k so we take input of t and for each test case we are going to solve the queries we take input of two integers and n k and declare an array based on size n we read the integer of this array and i plus plus then what now we can do we can sort this array now we can use the 64 bit integer to avoid overflow let's say total sum is 0 right now 
and each step my sum will be incremented basically this sum is addition of the all element on this array so now sum of first k elements will be let's say a s s k sum of first k element so s k will be accumulate a comma a plus k comma initial value will be zero l so what i'm thinking is two values can be possible i will explain that later so basically m1 will be what we have to find we have to find the maximum difference right so let's say m1 will be sum minus this sk and m2 will be sum and m2 will be sum minus accumulate of last k points to n starting from n minus k minus 1 i guess exactly n elements should be there k elements should be there so basically uh, this one is your n this one is n minus 1 basically so the end element last element will be n minus 1 and uh, one position before will be n minus 2 so this one is n minus k minus 1 and n minus 1 so pretty much k elements right what we can do now print maximum value of m1 and m2 let's run this code giving 23 at 5 which is wrong so basically sum is uh, okay i think i need one temporary variable here your temporary variable will be some temporary variable will be this so uh, m1 will be absolute value of sk minus tmp right and then uh, same for this one also my sk will be this and then my m2 will be sk minus tmp okay now let's run this program it's 17 and 2 oh uh, so so basically what was the idea behind this m1 and m2 so basically this m1 is keeping track of first k elements but this m1 is taking consider of this last k elements so in both of the cases there can be a test case in which 
the last k1 will result in the correct answer instead of first k elements so let's submit this program Getting wrong answer. What can be the issue? Integer is getting overflowed. What? Zero to k elements accumulating here. I think this one is not working properly. Okay, let's do some alternative solution. I equal to n minus one. Then uh, nothing, and i minus minus. I am gonna define some counter variable. Plus plus. So basically. If counter is equal equal to k, then break. And uh, in each step, s k will be incremented by a of i. Maybe that accumulate or some edge cases skipping right there. Actually, let's submit once again. So okay, basically that was the error. I was missing some edge cases in the accumulate function. This worked pretty well. So I hope you learned something from this video. So basically, motto of, of this video was to give you insight how to solve competitive programming problems how to take test cases input and uh, first of all you should design your algorithm then you write code on that and then submit it so this was pretty much easy problem in more advanced problem what uh, you can think of you will be getting not the simple task to do but later cases you may have to generate your own test cases to figure out in what test cases uh, your algorithm can fail so this was pretty much it let me know uh, if you get this solution or not or you was able to follow through this video or not and uh, also let me know in which problem or what kind of problem should i solve in this live manner or i should make video on it so that's all for now see you in the next one okay bye